Hey, what's up? Uh, Operation I Droid here, and this video is an update video that I honestly recommend that you watch. I'm hoping that you clicked on this because it said please watch. And this is my first upload in three weeks, which is a pretty long time. It's about three weeks, and I'm going to explain all of that and more in this update video. So if you guys can just Please pay attention, I'm not going to show anything on the screen, so if you'd like, you can tab out and just browse the web. But if you listen to me for the limited amount of time that I'll have you here, it would honestly be truly appreciated because I have so much to talk to you guys about from not being able to upload for almost three weeks, future uploads, a second channel I made, 50,000 subscribers, and a revamp that's been made to the channel. So, sit back, relax, and... Let's begin. So we'll start with the most important thing and that a lot of you guys have realized is I haven't uploaded in two weeks. It was supposed to be two weeks, but it dragged on a little farther than that because I was suspended from my account. For those of you that don't know, if you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, you do know and that's good for you because you've stayed updated with the channel. And if you do not and you have one of those accounts, I highly recommend that you follow me on either Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, so you can stay updated on things so that sometimes I don't make full-fledged videos on things, but you'll still be updated. Alas, I digress, so let's continue. The reason I was unable to upload for two weeks is because I got two community flags from the YouTube community, and now these were for very petty reasons, and it was honestly my mistake. And it should not, it sucks it happened to me, but it happened. I honestly want to be truthful and connect with you guys. And this is our channel, so I'm not going to hide anything from you guys. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I got two YouTube community flags and it was because I had tags in the descriptions of my videos. So when you upload a video to YouTube, if you're a content creator or a user, you should know that you can add a title, a description, and a place for tags that's not seen. YouTube has recently said that they only want tags in the tags box of a video. Back in the day, people would put tags in the description of their videos to up their SEO and get them higher ranked on search so that, of course, people would see their videos because when you search something up, you usually click one of the first ones on that page so that's what i was doing along with tons and tons of other youtubers that do it but the hammer got struck on me twice and it suspended me from my account for two weeks the first time it happened i was like okay it's not a big deal it happens and then the second time i was just like okay hi i can't i can't do this anymore it looks like i'm not able to get away with it although others are but that does not excuse the mistake that I've made and I'm honestly truly sorry that because of my actions I was unable to upload videos for you all for almost three weeks and I'm honestly sorry. But in the midst of those two weeks I had a lot of time to think about what I wanted to do with the channel and about you all and a lot of things and as we were in those two weeks suspension the channel hit 50,000 subscribers. And I'm so thankful for you guys that we were able to do that. I remember when I first started my YouTube channel three years ago, 50,000 subscribers was a huge thing. It could be considered the million subscribers of now because it was a different era back then. And I always said to myself, if I get 50,000 subscribers, I don't know what I would do. It seems unimaginable, but if I, I knew if I worked hard, it would happen one day. And now here we are, 50,000 people enjoy my content and have it have taken the moment to hit that subscribe button. And it's truly appreciated. I honestly appreciate each and every single one of you. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. And it's just crazy to think about. And I, I'm, I'm honestly so grateful. And I can't really express my feelings right now besides the words that I continue to repeat so I'm gonna go ahead and move on so heading back to the two week suspension both of the videos that were hit for YouTube community flags were anime videos as you know I recently started doing anime reviews on the channel but that is no more there's a lot of copyright problems and struggle 
in terms of making anime reviews and things of that nature. So I've decided to make a second channel just for anime and manga reviews because I really enjoy doing that. And so that it won't jeopardize the channel that we've all built up Operation iDroid because it, it really has jeopardized it with these two flags and stopped me from uploading for two weeks. So if you are one of my fans of the anime reviews, then you can head over to my second channel. It will always be linked in the description. You can always find it there. So you can click there and subscribe if you enjoy my anime reviews. If you don't, then that's fine. You don't have to go to that channel. And I am completely fine with that because that channel will be strictly for anime and manga reviews. So moving on, as I just said, we hit 50,000 subscribers. And because of such a glorious occasion, I wanted to revamp the whole channel. And of course, it was also good timing because I was unable to upload for two weeks which some would consider a setback but i would like to say and be optimistic and say that it's a setup for a comeback and i want this comeback to be huge we got a new intro we got a new outro we got a new banner we got a new icon we have a new watermark we have a new written logo we have a new logo and just so many other things that i can't even think off the top of my head and it's gonna be amazing and I, I really look forward to you guys seeing the new stuff. I mean, it's nothing, it's not like huge change, but it just looks a lot better. And I feel like it makes the channel a lot nicer. And for me, quality is a big thing in terms of making videos. So now that we have all of that out of the way that I've discussed, no uploads, the second channel, 50,000 subscribers and the revamp. What I want to go into now is future uploads. Because this end of the year is huge for YouTubers like myself and others that do things, related things that I do. And that's because we have the new Pokemon games coming out. We have the new Super Smash Bros. for Wii U coming out. We have Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix coming out. And tons of other games coming in the fall that I want to cover. But I understand that gaming is not the main thing on my channel. If you look at my channel, the things that are popular with you all in terms of likes, in terms of views, is Pokemon and iOS devices. And I can stay, I can do all of those things and I enjoy doing those things, but there's some times when I like doing other things, like when Gio and I were doing Smash vs. Viewers. Now, that was really fun and we enjoyed doing that, but a lot of you guys didn't really seem to like it. Not saying a lot of you guys, because those videos averaged a good 1,000 views per video. Which is okay, but it's not amazing for a channel my size. And I honestly want to keep all of you guys entertained. And I understand that not all of you watch all of my videos. So, I'm going to be asking you guys a lot of questions now. And I would honestly appreciate it if you answered them for me. And I'll leave in the comment section all the questions. So you can just look at them there and reply to them once this video is done. And the first one is, what type of content would you like to see from me? Why did you subscribe? For what videos? Was it for iOS videos? Was it for my shiny Sundays? Or was it for Kingdom Hearts that Gio and I did a while ago? Or was it with because of Smash vs. Viewers or something else that I can't think of right now? Because the way I see it going into this end of the year, there's a ton of new games coming out. There's a ton of things for iOS that I need to cover, especially with the 8.1 update that just came out. And I feel like... There's a lot of videos that I would enjoy making and I would love to make, but I'm not quite sure if you guys would enjoy and love to watch. So that's why I'm asking you, what videos would you like to see from me? The way I'm looking at it right now and the plans that I have is I'll continue to do my iOS videos on the weekdays. Those won't change, whether it's a news for iOS, it's a tutorial, it's a tip, whatever it may be. I have a ton of things stockpiled that I need to cover that I haven't been able in these past two weeks. So iOS videos will continue possibly two times a week, Fridays and Saturdays, but I'm fine in that department. What I'm kind of discussing and thinking of doing is I really want to do the Smash Wii U. I enjoy playing that with Geo. I enjoy playing with Geo with you guys. And I don't know if you guys are enjoying it, and that's that's the problem I'm having. With Smash Wii U, I would love to do a co-op with Geo across all the game modes that they have, like a Let's Play type of thing, like co-op solo mode, 
co-op adventure mode, co-op that puzzle mode, co-op whatever it is because there's so many co-op things that we can do and not even co-op we could versus it so it'd be more entertaining as me and Gio are trying to strive for a goal so i don't know if that's something you guys would like to see would you like to see some super smash bros wii u content when it comes out it's unfortunate that it comes out at the same time as pokemon omega ruby and alpha sapphire which i will be doing but like always there'll be shiny sunday so that's a thing that i only do once a week and that's not because um I, I can I don't want to do it but that's because it takes time to develop those shiny Sunday videos because I have to find shiny hunting tutorials I have to think of tips I have to get the footage and all that stuff so my plan for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire when it comes out is to make shiny hunting guides like how to do chain fishing for example who knows if that's going to be an Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire and then make the following week a shiny Sunday chain fishing so that's kind of what i'm thinking of doing with omega ruby and alpha sapphire shiny hunting guides and of course shiny sunday season three and i'm sure all of you guys are going to enjoy that it worked so well for me last year last year at this time i was only at like 5,000 subscribers and to think now i'm at 50,000 subscribers and i've just multiplied times 10 is insane and that's all thanks to pokemon and ios videos and it all happened at this time when i exploded um, getting almost 10,000 subscribers in a span of two months. So who knows what's going to happen at this end of the year. And that's why I really want your opinions. And what you guys say in the comment section below will sway what I'll do in this end of the year. So Pokemon pretty much I'm thinking of doing shiny hunting guides and shiny Sunday season three. And that'll be a lot to cover in the first two month month and a half of the game because it comes out basically at the end of november and then in 2015 we'll figure out what we're doing where we're going and all that stuff but this is for the end of the year now there's two other games that i want to play like i've mentioned smash bros for the wii u and i also want to do a let's play of kingdom hearts hd 2.5 remix but again that game comes out december 2nd literally a week after super smash bros and pokemon so if i do decide to do all these things it's just going to be tons of content coming at you guys and i don't know if you all are going to watch it and that's why i'm asking you guys about your opinions i would like to know if you would watch that are you a kingdom hearts fan are you a super smash bros fan will you enjoy those videos that i produce Honestly, I can ask you guys, but at the end of the day, I won't know until I do it. But for me, I'm kind of a completionist. When I start a series, I have to finish it. Like, I'll feel really bad if I start a Let's Play and I don't finish it. But at the same time, if I'm doing it and no one's enjoying it, what's the point besides my self-satisfaction? And that's not what it's about because this channel isn't only me. It's all of us. It's the operation. It's the 50,000 subscribers that you're a part of. So, I don't know. I don't know. What I can say is I'm happy to be back and able to upload these two weeks. I've really opened my eyes to a ton of things and just showed me how much I miss uploading to YouTube. Because before this happened, I was uploading almost every day. So, there's going to be some change coming to the channel, depending on what you guys say in the comment section below. So, like I mentioned, there's going to be questions in the comment section. You should be able to see it. should be top comment. Hopefully, if you guys thumbs that up for me, that would be great so everyone can see it. And then you can just comment your answers in the comment section below. Again, I honestly appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for allowing me to hit 50,000 subscribers. If you're a fan of my anime reviews, make sure you check out the second channel. And let me know what you think about the revamp, the new icon, new banner, new intro, new outro, all that stuff. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.